All right. So we begin the next problem. Consider the following set of processes with the arrival times and the CPU burst times given in milliseconds. Okay, so these are different processes P1, P2, P3, P4 and they arrive at these times 0, 1, 2, 4 and the burst time, the, the amount of CPU, the, the amount of time in CPU they need is 5, 3, 3 and 1. Okay, and we have to find what is the, we have to find the average turnaround time. Okay, we have to find the average turnaround time for these processes with the preemptive shortest remaining processing time first algorithm okay so the, the, this this preemptive algorithm so that means that in in the middle if necessary some process can be kicked out if a better if a process with better priority comes higher priority and you have to find the average turnaround time and uh, what is the turnaround time turnaround time is the time when the process gets in to the time when it is it is complete it does uh, completion uh, everything is done with that process so that time okay so what I'm going to do first out here is I'm going to write down these burst times down here for these processes okay for p1 it is 5 I'm going to write these because these will change and for p2 uh, it is 3 in the beginning for p3 it is 3 and for p4 it is 1 okay and you have to remember it is shortest remaining time okay uh, processing time the shortest remaining time and then I'm going to mark these arrival times so this is 0 and out here process p1 comes okay so p1 arrives at this time and out here it is 1 and process p2 arrives out here and out here it is 2 okay and then process p3 arrives here okay and then there is 3 and then there is 4 and process p4 arrives at this time 4 okay and then what you can do is you can see what will happen okay so right now at time 0 okay p1 is the only process okay it will go on it will go from 0 to 1 like this so p0 will run from here uh, to here okay uh, not p0 this is p1 okay uh, p1 p1 will run from 0 to 1 and that means this will be decreased to 4 and at this time at 1 P P2 comes in and for P2 the remaining time is better it is just 3 so from here onwards P2 will start running okay and P3 comes out here but for P3 the remaining time is 3 and by this time the remaining time for P2 will become 2 so it will not be kicked off so P2 will keep on running okay and P2 will keep running up till this point and at this point P4 comes in and by that time this p3 is actually finished okay because all the cpu time it needed that is 3 it has actually run for that time okay so p oh sorry this was p2 that was finished okay uh, sorry about that so this was p2 that gets finished out here okay at this point and then at this point what happens is these are the remaining times for p1 it is 4 for p3 it is 3 and for p4 it is 1 so that means that p4 will get the cpu out here and it needs only one uh, unit time so that means it will run from here to here and with that this is gone okay and then out of we have a choice out of p3 and p1 and this the smallest remaining time is for p3 that is 3 so that means p3 comes in here and this runs up till 8 okay and then we are left with p1 that means p1 will run up till 12 and with that thing is my with that thing finally this is the stop this is the end out here we'll stop here and we don't need this thing okay so we have all these things and then let's find the average turnaround time okay average 
turn around time let's calculate average turn around time so what is the turn around time for p1 okay p1 arrived at 0 and it completed at 12 so that means the turn around time for p1 is 12 okay uh, see we take the average okay this average turn around time that means we take the average of all the times what is the turn around time for p2 p2 arrives at 1 and it finishes at 4 that means the turn around time for p2 is 4 minus 1 okay that is 3 and then we talk about p3 okay p3 arrives at 2 and it finishes at 8 that means the turn around time is 8 minus 2 that is 6 and then we talk about p4 p4 arrives at 4 finish it at 5 the turnaround time is 5 minus 4 that is 1 and we take the average of all these so what do you get out of here you get 22 by 4 okay and 22 by 4 is 5.5 okay which means that your option a is the correct choice